So why did we create videosocials.net in the first place? Hi, I'm Mark Bullock. I'm the co-founder of videosocials.net. And to answer that question, it comes down to get it done. So how many times in our professional careers do we find ourselves in situations where we know what we need to do? We need to create videos. We need to create blog posts. We need to be out on social media. We need to be sending newsletters. We need to be doing all kinds of things. And everything seems to get in the way of actually getting it done. So Video Socials was started at the very premise from a standpoint of providing you a platform where you could get it done. In other words, this isn't just practice, although we say in when we open our meetings that it's a safe place to practice. And why is it a safe place to practice? Because you need to find your voice if you're going to do videos. The statistics are all in. Videos are getting far more traction than text or anything else that you can be doing online right now, especially in the social media sphere. So you need to get video out there. How do you get it out there? Well, you also need to find your voice and your style because this is not the 11 o'clock news and this is not a multi-million dollar commercial that you're putting on in the Super Bowl. This is a conversation that you want to create with your prospective clients and your clients and those that you can that can refer you business. So that being the case, it needs to be conversational and it needs to be you. It needs to be how you would present or how you would be in a conversation sitting across the desk from the other person. So that being the case, that takes a little practice. That takes a little bit of you finding your voice. And so we provide a safe place for you to practice where you're going to get feedback from others because guess what? When we're shooting video, we're in our own heads. Uh, we're seeing every wrinkle, we're seeing every little bobble in our voice, we're seeing everything that, that we think has gone wrong, rather than the message that we're getting across and how other people are seeing us. So we give each other feedback so that we get to see ourselves through others' eyes. And that is invaluable. Um, and ask any video socials members, they'll say that that is one of the most important things that they're getting because they get the support of and the encouragement of, but they also get the, here's some tips that how you might do better next time or how you might do something differently that may work a little better for you uh, in your next video. So all of this wraps around to making it a habit. That's how you get it done. If we send out a newsletter, we do a blog post, we make a social media post, we create a video, one, it's not going to get a whole lot of traction. In the marketing world, five to eight impressions as an example, all that being said, you need to be out there with some consistency. There is a massive amount of content that is going out into the social media sphere and out into the inboxes of your prospects. So that being the case, if you don't provide some consistency, in other words, develop a habit around creating videos or blog posts or social media posts, then how are, you, how are you actually going to get it done? So which leads me back to the beginning. Video socials is designed to be a safe place to practice and experiment so that you can get it done. Hope you found that valuable. Would welcome you as a guest, videosocials.net forward slash guests at any time that you'd like to come check us out and we'd welcome you. Again, Mark, videosocials.net, phoneblogger.net. Have a great day.